お仕事は大人の大切な仕事なんだよマリアにご飯を食べさせてお洋服を買って学校の給食費を払ってサマーキャンプの積み立て金を払ってそれはみんなママが働いてお金を稼いでくれるからなんだよ<笑>ご飯いらないお洋服もいらない給食もいらないしサマーキャンプなんか行きたくないどうせマリアをどこの班も混ぜてくれないもんウリュウママはさっき電話でお仕事から帰ってきたらお土産を買ってきてくれるって約束してくれたよママはマリアのことが大事で寂しくさせてることを申し訳ないと思ってるからそういう約束をしてくれたんだと思うよそうかなウリュウめんどくさかったり嫌だったりしたらそんなことはしないもんママだってマリアのそばにいつだっていたいんだよそれができなくてママも辛くて悲しいママが泣きながらずっとマリアの隣にいて夜を過ごしてくれた日を僕は覚えてるようんなんでママが泣いてるのかわからなかったけど悲しむママが悲しくてただマリアは黙ってママのそばにいることしかできなかったあの時最後にママが言ったの僕は覚えてるよマリアに「ありがとう」って言ったただそばにいてくれるだけでマリアだけが世界でただ一人の味方なんだよってママは言ってくれたウリュ覚えてるうんマリアが世界でただ一人の味方なんだよってママ言った If only that were the case a lot more often than that one time She would be home a lot more often than she is now Sakutaro said the remote on the table crawled up to the sofa sat on my lap And spoke to me while gazing into my eyes. Mama, mo, kitto Maria to onaji nanda yo. Mama no kaita design dake ga client ni waraware te. Mama no kaisha dake ga hoka no kaisha kara mendo na shigoto o shitsuke rare te. Mama wa shachou da kara jibun hitori de katazuke na kucha nara na kute. Mama no kaisha dake ga hitsu mo hoka no kaisha no shigoto ni maze te morae nai. ママの味方はマリアだけなんだよそのマリアがママにお仕事なんかやめちゃえなんて言ったらママの味方は世界中のどこにいるのおっ朔太郎僕には世界中でただ一人マリアがいるママには世界中でただ一人マリアがいるマリアにはママもいるしサクタロもいるだからマリアは寂しくなんかないウリュウおママはお仕事が忙しいからなかなかマリアと一緒にいられないけどマリアはどうかそれを責めないでその代わり僕はいつも一緒に。そしていつまでも一緒にマリアのそばにいるからだから泣かないでウリュウ僕が一緒じゃ悲しみを止められない In Maria's heart, when she had been doing her best to seal up, drops of sadness finally dribbled down. All right, well, just let it all out. 
No need to seal your heart like that. Trip, trip. Plop, plop. Sniff, sniff. Trip, trip. Plop, plop. Even though weekends where Mama doesn't come home aren't that rare thing. Even though this night wasn't especially more painful or sad than any other. Mar Maria's tears poured down. I mean, uh, the thing is, if she cries right here, then the neighbors are gonna hear that, and Rosa is gonna hear about that, and is probably gonna do something nasty. Instead of, you know, thinking rationally and, and you know, think that Maria over here is feeling alone and that's why she's crying and Rosa should feel sorry about that. I mean, we did hear the detail that if uh, the neighbors are going to hear something coming from uh, Maria's house, then that would be no good. だって僕が泣いたら誰がマリアを慰めるのだから僕は泣かないよだってマリアに元気を出してもらいたいから元気を出したらママは帰ってくるのママがかえってきたとき元気なマリアで迎えてあげたら ママはきっと喜ぶと思うなブリュンママは喜ぶブリュンそしたらきっとお仕事の疲れもきっと癒されると思うよそしたらきっといつもより早く元気になってくれてマリアともいっぱい遊んでくれると思うなマリアが<
ジェリービーンズを食べながら次は何の色を引くか当てっこして遊ぼうピーナッツ終わってどっちがおじいさんか当てて遊ぼう Split open peanuts and try to guess which health is the grandpa. Okay, now this I gotta see. <laughs> Let me see.、Um, tips? The grimoire. Peanuts. When peanuts that have been removed from their shells are cracked in half, one half has a nub on the end with small leaves protruding from it. In Japan, the young children are sometimes told that the half with this nub. Is the grandpa because the leaves look like a mustache? <laughs> the other half obviously would be the grandma. Oh boy. Okay, well, what other stuff would we have over here? Glico caramels. The Japanese confectionery company Glico, also famous for producing Pokey. Oh my. Began its business in 1922 with boxes of Glico caramels. Which read her art of a running man, triumphantly smiling with his arms raised. The marketing was. was that of a. the marketing was that a single caramel gives you the energy to run 300 miles. The Glico or Glyco, I, I don't know how to say that, Glico, running man, became an iconic trademark and mascot that the company still uses today. Shotoku Taishi, or Prince Shotoku. Ah, okay. 574, 622 is the extremely culturally influential Japanese region depicted on the old 5,000 yen and 10,000 yen Japanese banknotes issued from 1958 to 1986. His name was used to refer to those notes informally. In modern Japan, 10,000 yen notes are sometimes referred to as Yukichi after Fukuzawa Yukichi, the figure on the new. Okay, so it's talking about figures on on banknotes. Because Shotoku. I feel like I remember reading some stuff about old periods of Japan, and Shotoku was a big figure from one of those periods. I don't remember which era it was. Chazuke, known as Bubuzuke in Kyoto, where Sumadera Kasumi is from, is green tea poured over rice with savory toppings. It is said that in Kyoto, offering Chazuke to a guest is often not meant sincerely, but is merely a way of indicating in a roundabout fashion that it is time for the guest to leave, and the guest is expected to know when to refuse. Chazuke. Effectively, in this scene, Tetsuro brazenly steals a phrase from Kasumi's own cultural roots to tell her not to let the door hit her on the way out. <laughs> a good one. Closet の中を宝探ししよう。他にも他にも。オレンジジュースとメロンジュースを合わせたらどんな味になるかな。Orange juice and melon soda. いっぺんやってみたかったけどママにやっていいって聞いたらダメって怒られたプリュンママに内緒で実験してみよう今夜はいっぱい遊んでいっぱい笑って涙を元気で吹き飛ばしちゃおう大丈夫僕と一緒だから絶対に楽しいよ僕が絶対にマリアを幸せにしてあげるから
And then, I started my pajama party with Zakutaro, and had fun until late into the night. I played by sticking my hand into the bag of jelly beans, without looking, and trying to guess which color I would pull out. Zakutaro had good intuition and got it right a lot. Partway through, I also achieved a brilliant feat of guessing right four times in a row. In the game where I split peanuts open and tried to guess which half would be the grandpa. Well, it's easier than guessing the color of the jelly beans, so I got it right a lot. Sucking my salt covered fingers was bad manners, but that was the yummiest part. I like both orange juice and melon soda on their own. I hope that by mixing those two favorite drinks, there might be a flash of light like Alchem, and a new drink that no one had ever tasted before would be created. I got excited about how, if it turned out really delicious, I call it Sakutaro Soda and sell it. <laughs> But, unexpectedly, it had a weird and disappointing taste. Well, it is experimentation. Maria will know from now on that combining those is not gonna work. It was still fun to see. That and, you know, when people grow into adults, they become scientists, slash, you know, Engineers, like chemists, I think that's the word for it. Chemists that try all sorts of combinations of substances to make like new juices and such to sell. I mean, that's that's experimentation, you know, and you know, theories and such, learning chemistry and all that. Maybe I shouldn't have been surprised that orange and green mixed together would make this. Not too bad. I imagine that it will be become a sparkling pineapple color. <laughs> but it was an awesome, awesome fun night. If I'm having this much fun, maybe Mama will start wanting to come home too, and then expectedly appear at the front door. So I got to think that Mama might suddenly come home, and went to the front door many times to check. But there was no way Mama would be able to come home when she was this busy with work. <laughs> like a cat. Always checking the door. But rather than feeling... Rather than a feeling of loneliness, I felt just a little disappointed that I couldn't invite Mama to join in on such a fun late night party. Next time, I'll do this when Mama is around. And let her join in. Even some things that I don't think are yummy, Mama says are delicious. So she might say that Sakutaro soda is really yummy. When Mama comes back tired, I'll serve her some. And more than anything, I wanted to at least write about this fun night in a letter and tell Mama about it. Hoping that these strong feelings of happiness would reach Mama too. Hoping that when Mama comes home exhausted from her job, which is always so tough for her. I could share this happiness with her. Hoping that when Mama comes home late on Sunday night, almost certainly tired, I could make her even just a little brighter by sharing this happiness. I softly placed that letter on Mama's desk. To Mama, good job with your work again today. Some of my happiness for you to share. From Maria. Then, I decided to give present to Sakutaro for proposing this wonderful night. Okay, well, the letter was a wonderful idea, Maria. Rosa should really be the luckiest mom in the world to have such a good daughter who does things like this. I mean, that's that is totally a sign of a good daughter when you do stuff like that. A small red scarf that I had found when searching for treasure in my closet. When Maria was still very young, her mama had knitted this tiny, tiny red scarf for her. Maria was embroidered, or was embroidered on it with knitting wool. Knitting wool. She softly wrapped that scarf around Sakutaro. He really suited him, accenting his yellow with the red very well. 
Lovely. Yeah, it suits you really, really well. Sakatoro looked embarrassed as he wore his first present ever. Yeah. Yeah, really suits him. いつもいつも本当にありがた。こんなにも楽しい夜になったよ。どうしてマリアは泣いてたのか、もう思い出せないくらい。これからも一緒にいようね。そしていつも楽しく遊んで笑っていようね。ウリュン、マリア大好き。
楽しいわけなんかないだってこの夜のマリアお姉ちゃんのはしゃぎぶりはお母さんが帰ってこなくて寂しくてそれを忘れるためにわざと空騒ぎをしただけじゃない違うよ作太郎と本当に楽しくパーティーをしたんだよいえ違うお姉ちゃんは悲しくて悲しくて約束を忘れてたお母さんが憎くて憎くて部屋で暴れただけじゃないそんなことマリアの日記のどこに書いてあったの Feeling like an idiot myself. Or at the very least, naive. And I was giving it the benefit of the doubt and went along with it, but. This is much more serious than I thought. I think that. I think that Angie is right. Maria, she has been, su been sugarcoating it more than I initially thought. And all you did is make a mess out of the room to send a message to Rosa. I mean, that letter that you wrote for Rosa doesn't even exist, does it? Or it's all, it's all written in your diary, but it may have not actually happened. Or it does exist, but you wrote something really, really bad to Rosa. To tell her how much you hate her. I mean... If I were to look at this like I would、uh, a magic claim, then. How can I trust that this is actually what happened or this is just what you actually wanted to happen? I don't know! But I'm sure that I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this. この夜を楽しくなんか過ごさなかったそれで言いつけを破って夜更かしをしおやつの時間以外には食べてはいけないと厳しく言われていたルールを破ってお菓子を食べそれでも悲しみが埋められなくて部屋の中で暴れて散らかしただけじゃないそして部屋中を散らかして疲れきってそのままベッドのシーツをかきむしりながら泣き疲れて眠っただけ日記には確かにママが映画の約束を忘れてたらしいことそして私が夜更かしをして作太郎とパジャマパーティーをして宝探しで部屋を散らかしてしまったと書かれてるねええそれはつまりそういうことじゃないマリアお姉ちゃんはローザおばさんの愛に飢えていたそしてローザおばさんは自分の仕事や世間体ばかりを優先していつもお姉ちゃんを後回しにしていただから虫ずが走るのよローザおばさんのお姉ちゃんのことを愛しているという言葉がどれほど上辺だけのものか知っているからお姉ちゃんだって知ってるはずなのになんで自分は幸せだなんて言えるのハリアお姉ちゃんのそのあたりが私にはわからないこの年になってもさっぱり理解できないどうして悲しくないのどうして不幸な現実を知りながら自分は幸せだなんて言えるの私にはできないわからないエンジェは悲しい子だねわけわかんないどうして私が哀れまれなければならないの私の日記にはこんなにも楽しくパジャマパーティーの事実が記されているのに同じ事実も異なる人間が観測すると異なる姿になってしまうんだね I remember talking about this with Berka still Truth is indeterminate and changes its form every time it's observed by the way it is perceived in other words depending on the person who perceives it And a single truth becomes different truths. And truths of the past are painted over by truths of the future. Maria was in the middle of the night, and she was in the middle of the night. Maria was in the middle of the night, and she was in the middle of 
とても幸せだったと記述したなのに日記を読んだエンジェはこの夜の出来事をとてもとても悲しかったと読んだマリアお姉ちゃんは幸せだと記述したのに私はそうではないと読み解いた And I read it as, as somewhere in between. Like, I, I told myself that you did have a fun pajama party, but deep down, you're still sad about your mom. So you create your own road to escape, to be happy and have fun by yourself. That you did mix the two sodas together. That you did write that letter to Rosa. Angie, however, thinks that all that was just in your head to hide what you actually did that night. And. I don't know, I'm starting to think that she may be right. Yamete. Korewa, Siawase na Yoru, Shirusta Mononano. Korega. この夜の真実お願いだからその幸せな真実を新しいそして異なった真実で塗りつぶさないでマリアお姉ちゃんにはこれで幸せなのうん幸せだから同じ境遇の時幸せに感じられないエンジェがかわいそう Both she back then and I know have the same friendliness and lonely situation. And Angie accepted the only accepted the lonely truth as the lonely truth. But she painted over the lonely truth with a happy truth. Shiromiya Maria took the sad truth and changed it into happiness. And that's is the only and yet all too large difference between me and Mario Nechan. And at the same time as being unable to accept it, another part of me is jealous of that power. Hmm. So マリアもその力を何と呼ぶかわからなかったこの時点ではねやがてその正体を教えてもらうの後に話すよ後のページでそしてそして日曜日の深夜ママは約束通りお土産を持って帰ってきた We didn't agree, Rosa, as she returned home all tired out. It was Maria holding Saktaro in an unbelievably good mood. Rosa's worn out expression was surely due at least in part to actual fatigue. But also partially because she was sick and tired of having Maria cling to her and lolly whine and sob after being left alone in the house for a few days. Ugh. However, when she was welcomed by an unbelievably heavy Maria and discovered completely that her fears had been unfounded, Rosa couldn't hide her surprise. What Maria? It was strange enough to make Rosa think that a friend might have come over, and then she had come back home in the middle of them having a good time playing together. But there were no other shoes by the entrance. You know, Maria was in such a high spirits, she was home alone. At first, Rosa was suspicious that this unexpectedly good mood might have some kind of unwelcome underlying cause. But that really was a needless fear. It really did seem to be that Maria had actually stayed at home in a good mood. Even if Rosa's heart had been 
as cold and hard as a rock. After being welcomed with a small after being welcomed with a smell like this. Rosa started to honestly accept that smell. And the smell rose to her own face automatically. And that smell. You could see none of the weariness caused by unable une You could see none of the weariness caused by being unable to return home for several things. Maria kept talking about what a fun time she had been she had playing with the stuffed animal Sakatano. Rosa really hadn't imagined that the stuffed animal she'd give to her would be liked so much. Yeah, she couldn't hide her pleasant surprise. So, Sakutaro to Isho ni nakaya ko urusuban shite ita no ne. Erai wa Maria. Sonna erai Maria to Sakutaro ni omiyage ga aru wa yo. Kuriu! Omiyage, omiyage! Uuuu! Nandaro ne, nandaro ne! Maria started jumping around with Sakutaro. There were two presents. One was a western cake assortment. It contained different kinds of scotch cakes. They looked to be very, very high quality. But Maria was just in the other one. The other one was an even bigger box. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Maria to Sakutaro no Besides, they are there like chess pieces. Or about 20 small ceramic animals. Squirrels, rabbits, small birds, dogs, cats. And they're all holding musical instruments. In addition to them, there was also a panorama style background. A forest scene was drawn on it. Like woodland animals were all gathered around the forest clearing. And it looked like they were having a good time. Melosa set it up on the table. And when she then lined up the ceramic figures like chess pieces in front of it, it became a band of forest animals. Relieved that her gift had been appreciated. But Rosa suddenly remembered that she was filled with several days of worthiness. ママ、本当にお疲れ様。シャワー浴びてくるといいよ。あったかいの浴びると、きっと疲れが取れるよ。湯船にする。マリアが今日は入浴剤を選んであげるね。ありがとう。でも、もう遅いから、マリアは寝
just then. A razor-sharp sound shattered the warm atmosphere. Instead of Rosa, who had been there just a second ago, enjoying a gift for her daughter and full of weariness after returning home for the first time in several days. And there stood a completely different person, who looked exactly the same, but had the most terrible of expressions on her face. And her hand was the ticket stuff that Maria had picked up. She had stolen it from Maria's hand in an instant. After a few seconds of delay, by the pain of her hand that had been hit, and her mother's expression, Maria realized that she must have done something wrong. But she didn't know what she had done that had gotten her in trouble. It was probably because of that ticket stuff like thing. Was she not supposed to touch it? Even though she had tried so hard to welcome her mama with fun and happiness, she had touched something important to her without asking, and had ruined that pleasant atmosphere. So, Maria apologized immediately. <laughs> Even though she must have heard those words of apology, Rosa's expression actually darkened. Maybe those words had been undesired? Maria didn't know what to do, and cautiously watched to see how her mother would act. And then, even though it should have been such an important ticket stub, Rosa crushed it up and hurried off to her room. Maria didn't really understand what she had done wrong. Oh, Maria, ママの だから気にしちゃダメ。ウリア。そうだね。ママだって疲れてるんだもんね。うん、気にしちゃダメだね。今夜だってマリアたちはこんなにも幸せ。ウリア。もうやめてよ。見てられない。エンジェは幸せの見
電話で嘘をついてあんなにも行走を変えて奪い取って何よりの証拠じゃない昔の仕事で出張した時のものかもしれないよあるいはゴミか何かをたまたまポケットに入れちゃっただけかも And those are good reasons for taking that ticket away from you and storming into her own room. Making you confused that you did something wrong, when in actuality you did nothing wrong. Okay, that's a stretch. エンジェの優勝子なんて単なる状況証拠想像と妄想どうしてマリアとママの仲が悪くなるように解釈するのかわからないよどうしてお姉ちゃんがそこまでローザおばさんの都合がいいように解釈できるかの方がわからないやっ
she apologized for it. And when Maria asked why, she gave no answer. I'm not buying it. This isn't friendliness. This is dysfunctional. I, I may be able to suspend my disbelief that it truly happened the way you said. Because Rosa does tend to do that. Get angry at you, leave, and then apologize for being a bad mother. Over and over and over and over and over. This changes nothing in my eyes. Not only that, but the description was pretty detailed there. How do you know that Rosa dotted the paper with two tears on the letter, and then she came to you and apologized? <sighs> マリアだってこの力に気づくまでは今のエンジェと同じで不幸な欠片しか見つけられない気の毒なことだったからその力って何私にいなくてお姉ちゃんにはあるそしてそれがないから私は不幸でお姉ちゃんは幸福だというの <sighs> Gee, let me guess. Is it love? Unconditional love for your mother who doesn't share the same feeling as you? もちろんだよ。教えてあげる。この力の秘密を。そして私は昔幼い園児にちゃんと教えてあげたんだよ。忘れちゃってる。大丈夫。思い出せるよ。今から私が。うん。彼女が。教えてあげる。as if Beatrice is any better. Kanojo?って誰? That is magic. Maria and Beto said it together. And then they started giggling because they said it at the same time. And it was an innocent behavior. It seemed somehow unlike Beato. Dope. Okay, back to Cubadoria. Black tea was arranged on a table in a peaceful garden. And Beato, Maria, and Saktaro, who was sitting on Maria's lap, were having a fun chatting. ほう。そうか。サクタロウと申すか。そなたの一番の友人とな。オディオン。はじめまして。サクタロウと申します。おう。サクタロウは人見知りするから緊張してるの。大丈夫だよ。ベアトリーチェもマリアの素敵なお友達なんだよ。オディオン。マリアの友達は僕も友達うん。オディオン。じゃあ僕もベアトリーチェの友達うん。オディオン。マリアにとってはこのようなことは日
サクタロは無機物じゃないよライオンの子だよフリューンぬいぐるみはよりしろとして優秀だゆえに毒を持たぬ無垢な子供が話しかけることによってそれに応えようとする精霊が宿ることが少なくない According to Beatrice when a child plays with dolls the dolls sometimes gain an actual will and converse with them the work here says they were moving on their own however The power that they can imbue into such a vessel is very weak due to their innocence. If even a tiny bit of the toxin from a human's common sense gets involved and tells them that there is no way a doll can talk or move, they can instantly reverse to being an ordinary non speaking doll. However, Sonata and Sono, Sakutaro and Nuigurumi are different. Oh! Sakutaro and Nuigurumi are different! ウリュウライオンの子ガフンウリュウサクタロはライオンの子だけどまだ子供だから時々ガオって言えないのガウウリュウリュウリュウリュウリュウリュウビアトリス let out a sigh of admiration as she gazed at Maria playing around with サクタロ at the table loaded with tea なんということか。サクタロウとやらは、その布地と綿のよりしろを書くに、完全に人間界に権限している。自らの人格を持ち、召喚者と自在に対話をし、しかも自らの意志で動いている。しかもさらに驚くべきは、それが異界の人物を名指しして呼び寄せたものではなく、マリアはゼロの海から生み出したものという点だ。After that, Maria boasted to Beato that Sakutaro wasn't her only friend, and that when she went home, there would be plenty more of them. She claimed that there were other similar stuffed animals and dolls who, like Sakutaro, could talk and move with their own will. It was something natural to Maria. It was natural for stuffed animals to talk, move, and become her friends of their own free will. When she heard Maria speak of this in that way, Beatrice, as a witch, felt her respect bordering on all. Maria, Sonata no Sono Chikara, Magire Monak, Maho de Ari. Maho Nano? マリアはまだ魔女見習いだから魔法なんて使えないよいいや魔法だそれを自覚して使えぬからいまだ見習いなのであろうがそれにしても大した魔力そなたの友人サクタロウの権限こそがその立派な証であるぞ権限ってうんそなたの場合は想像と呼んでもよいであろうな他人の手にあっては何の魂も持たぬ無機物がそなたの魔法によって魂を吹き込まれているしかもそれを強力な力で人間界にとどめているこれほどまでに魔法を否定する毒気に満たされた現代において一個の生命体足りえるほどに権限できる魔力はわらわとて容易なことではないわ。It isn't hard to create soulless beings in any number. However, creating a being with a soul is very difficult. Beato declared this definitely. Beato が言うのがよくわかんない。サクタロがすごいってことサクタロとソナタが共に素晴らしいということだ。誇ってよいなるほど金蔵の最も欲したものはそなたに一番濃く宿っているらしいなんでベアトにそんなに褒められるのかさっぱりねえサクタロウリュウ真に驚嘆すべきは
ぬいぐるみに魂を宿したことだけではないのだそれにより事故の世界観まで変化させたそなたは無より有を生じる力が群を抜いている一を百にすることはたやすいしかしゼロから一を生じることはたやすくはない I'm having a problem understanding this kind of mentality of creating from zero. Obviously, Maria. Okay, magically speaking, Maria did not create Saktaro from nothing. I mean, Rosa made this for Maria. So, Maria created Saktaro out of love for her mother. It's not from zero. Hell, not even the name is created from zero. She took that from an anime. So. Nah. Great. You looking forward to her becoming a witch, just like you, who has broken views on humans. A witch who will grow to accept the hatred for her mother deep within her, and torture humans in hellish ways, just like how you did before. <laughs> <laughs> よかったね、マリア。ウリュン、ベアとマリアを褒めてくれてありがとう。で、には及ばぬぞ、サクタロウ。その赤いマフラーは実に似合っているぞ。そしてそなたのような友人を生み出せる。そなたの主人の才能に
damage. So Virgilia should not even be here to gain free. Unless this is another one of your tricks to make me think that Beto's dream and the interactions that she had with Virgilia in Game 3 were all fake to make me think that. God damn it. You're good, Beto Liche. You're good. Since Maria already thought of Beto as a great witch, this person Beto called a great witch must have been a great, great witch. According to Beto, not even she could hold the candle to this witch when it came to magical power. Oh yeah, oh yeah. にぎやかな声が聞こえてくると思ったら楽しそうなお茶会ですこと。おお、お嬢様。ちょうどいいところへ。このライオンの子を見てほしい。マリアの新しい友人だそうだ。可愛らしいライオンさんですね。ご挨
and that will borrow the grimoire from Maria's handbag. And majestically rifle the fruit pages. Then, finding an empty page among those with magic circles drawn on them, she flattened the book out. And after staring at Sakatara with a smirk, she suddenly started darting her pen across the page. You know, something like a written proclamation made by witches to a high roar of the world. Magic, which would take effect by Beatrice writing it and Vegeta giving her signature as a witness. Maria didn't understand what Beto was doing at first, but partway through she figured out the wonderful magic power of this document, and her eyes began to sparkle. Sakatara was on her lap, so he didn't know what was being written up on the table. But if he had seen, Sakatara probably wouldn't have understood. Well, this is just great. They are teaching Maria magic. And they will send every human to hell. Nope, not in the netherworld. After she had completed the thing she had been so intensely concentrating on, Beto looked over the document again from a distance. It seems she was fairly satisfied with her work. And Maria, upon also peeking in at it, and they let a cry of wonder. Virgilia signs, complained the proclamation. It was a powerful document that proclaimed the, the beings of a higher world. The Sakataro had most certainly manifested in the human world. Sakataro, created by Maria, had received the recommendation of the two witches Beatrice and Virgilia. In this very moment, the higher world had accepted his existence. That was the great magic of the manifestation. M -m 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 manifestation. According to Beato, it was apparently an incredible stroke of luck that Virgilia had been there. Mm-hmm. Luck. Yeah, surely. Because the power residing in the proclamation would change drastically depending on the number and the ranks of the higher of the witches signing it. Virgilia, in particular, had many friends in the higher world. So her signature gave the proclamation the power which with which Beatos can even compare. そしてその存在をマリアージュソルシエルの条約に従い友人として迎える今よりサクタロウは我ら共通の友人だそれにふさわしき姿を贈り物としてそなたに贈ろう受け取るがよいウィル Grimoire still open to the page with the proclamation she turned it around and handed it to Maria Maria showed it to Sakataro on her lap. And Sakataro beheld that proclamation. In his body made of cloth and cotton, he felt something hot and bright begin to dwell. Even as he looked around, nervous at the sensation that he had never felt before, that power strengthened. And eventually, a bright light completely swallowed him up. Uh oh.
And when the light disappeared, there, Maria's friend Sakataro held a new form and existed. Oh, me, oh, my. Sakataro evolved! <laughs>